Hey guys, Will Patson here again with another Illustrator CC 2014 tutorial. Now this is going to be a cool tutorial because I'm going to show you how to create something like this, which is the back of a business card. Now, a lot of people struggle with what information to put on the back of the, inf uh, the uh, business card. Uh, and a lot of people also struggle with the design of it um, because everyone wants to stand out. So this is the way that I created the back of a business card. So I'm going to show you how I did this with the new artboard. Oops, I just deleted an artboard. I'm going to go here. Now, this one here is obviously, uh, I've got a load of different ones here. This is the way I work. Uh, so this is the front of the business card, which is landscape. And we've gone all the way to portrait for the back so we can fit more information. So what I'm going to do first is create the base shape, which will be around here. I'm not going to show you every single tiny detail of what I've done, but uh, I'm just going to show you some of the uh, key features of this. So I'm going to go here and create like a nice rectangle here and you'll see that I uh, transform for the live shape tool pop up I don't want that just now okay I'm just gonna bring this in I'm gonna exchange it out a little bit then I'm gonna highlight it and just make sure I align it to the artboard that it's on the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go to object path add anchor points so we can uh, add anchor points to over here and up here so we can have this and the next thing I'm gonna do is literally bring this uh, point up here like so I'm gonna bring this down a tiny bit and then bring it up I'm just gonna change the shape of it it won't look exactly like the one I've done but you'll see what I mean then the next thing we need to do is round these corners so I'm gonna go ahead uh, and round all these corners like so apart from uh, this corner over here I want it to be straight so I'm gonna keep it like so I've just made it straight with the uh, live corners tool. Make sure it's in the center of our artboard. Awesome. I'm gonna scale it down by pressing S and then holding shift and scaling it a tiny bit. Um, we need to create this sort of offset over here. So the easiest way to do this would be to highlight your shape. Go to object path, offset path. We're gonna press preview to see what we're at. I might bring it down a tiny bit. Actually no, I'll leave it like so. We've got the offset there. I'm going to go ahead and add a stroke to uh, this one here. If I can find my colors, my swatches even, which I don't have really. I've only got my white one here. So I'm just going to add this and then bump up the stroke. And then I'm going to go ahead, press object, path, outline stroke, unite the stroke together. Sorry if I can do this correctly anyway. Um, it's a bit difficult to try and do this correctly, but yeah, you get the hang of it. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, delete the back of this stroke together. So I need to actually make sure that this stroke is fully together with the other one. Okay. So what we need to do is unite the back of it. Take this, take this, and delete it from the back. So I'll go through what I just did there because I'm trying to show you this and I haven't been doing videos for a while because uh, I've moved out but basically we have the stroke here that's ungrouped from the uh, this stroke uh, this shape here. So I need to go ahead and ha highlight this shape, highlight this shape, go ahead and unite it and then I'm going to hold on to this shape here, select them both and minus front. Now we just have this shape here that's transparent in the section here it's hard to see because it is transparent there because we delete the shape but there you go that's how it's done the next bit here I'm not going to show you how I put the text in and stuff but the next bit is uh, this circular bit with a little pattern on it so I'm going to create um, a star and then I'm going to bump up by pressing the, uh, the numeric pad keys then I'm going to uh, hold uh, command which will change the sharpness of it. I'm going to just go ahead and do this. Press OK. I'm going to change the fill to white so we can see what we're doing better. Oops. I'm going to just scale this down a tiny bit. And within this, I'm going to go to Effect, Stylize, Oops, Effect, Stylize, Round Corners. Okay, okay, I like that. Object, expand appearance. 
because we added an effect. Now, if you guys haven't noticed already, this is a bit of an advanced tutorial because I'm showing you my process. But don't worry, I will do a tutorial where I go into more detail about these certain elements within what I'm doing here. Okay, now I'm going to create a circle within the center of here. Hopefully within the center. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Um, of about, let's say here, I'm going to copy that circle. I'm going to select this shape behind and press Command 2, which will lock it so I can like freely uh, go into this layer. Within this, I'm just going to highlight the circle and the weird shape and minus front it. And then I'm going to create another circle in the center of here to about here, which will give us this shape. Then I can add my text. I'm going to group these both together like so. I would then want to do uh, some text. So I'll probably say hi and then change it to lobster because that's a font that I used. And then I'm going to keep it on black actually. Bring it into the center. Press Command Shift and O to outline this. Scale it up. And then make sure that you've got it in the center of your O. And then within this, we can actually do something cool. Command 8 to create a compound path. Hold this minus front it so it's transparent just there. Now, if you didn't see what I did there and you're struggling a little bit, I've got the shape here. Uh, I've got the text here. I need to outline it. Hang on a sec. I've got my text here. I need to outline it to create into a shape so it's not an editable text. So I'm going to press Command, Shift, and O, which will outline it. And then I scaled this text up. Then I need to align it to this object here. So I'm going to highlight both of these, like so. And then I'm just going to click on the object I want to align it to, which will give it this sort of bold red line around it. Press the horizontal and vertical alignment tool. And then within this, I'm going to go here, click on the outside shape, and press Command 8. And what this does, it creates a compound path, so it tricks Illustrator into thinking that this is just one shape, so you can delete from it. I'm going to go ahead and highlight both of these. I'll show you out here. So I've got two shapes. Highlight both of these. Press minus front and it will cut the shape from there. Like so. I forgot my exclamation mark really, but it doesn't matter. It's all good. Center. Okay, then I'm going to go, um, my name is, and change this to Brandon Grotesque Black. White. Like so. And put it in the center there and basically that is how you create it. I'm not going to go through it all because this should have shown you the idea was to show you the shape of how I created it and then within this I'll, I'll take you through the uh, the next stages of it um, I'm going to go outline all my text uh, to create in shape and then on the back here I want to make sure the back here is actually a compound path all the time so I can delete uh, this shape from here like so so this is now uh, been deleted from the black and then I'm going to go ahead and make this a black shape over here the border uh, compound path again by pressing command 8 and then I'm going to go ahead and delete the white text from it if you didn't see that actually I'll show you I'm going to delete the white text from it so it goes grey now it's transparent and that's how you basically create um, this shape. Now I understand that the people won't understand what I'm doing um, very well but uh, I'm going to go through another video for this. Now I've only just started getting back into the video so uh, that's because I've moved out and all that but thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys got something from this whether it was just uh, changing the, uh, the way that you your square sort of look or changing the way your shape is. Uh, I will go into more depth and I'm also doing a live stream very soon. So make sure you follow me on Twitter at Will Patterson 10 to know when I'm doing live streams and stuff. And go ahead and subscribe to that subscribe button. I'll press that, what's it called, that flipping subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.